Okay, thanks for coming. I mean, thank you very much for coming at today's this timing. Uh, I just realized tonight I have a wedding dinner to attend for my ex student. Uh, so yeah, how to meal chi Sanjia and Jia the Chi Hun Tini. Ah, Mine, 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 you may sanka like Sanjia Uncle Raymond the wedding dinner, Hama. <laughs> okay, Timus, don't tell my wife. Huh? <laughs> okay, come, let's go for the. Lesson, thanks for coming again. One more time. We're going to start off with this. Okay, I'm going to go through some of your homework. So, uh, you have been a bit disappointed uh, for your marking the paper that I said you will share the score higher, but I don't know why. Uh, Timus, may I ask you, when we are talking about usefulness questions, right? What must you do? Back to you, sir. SVQ question. You see, emails. Uh, it's okay if you can talk easier. Lah. You can talk, you can talk, but I prefer the, uh, my student to talk to me. Like, okay? like it's useful to provide evidence on something, then you do the inference. Then you okay. say that it's useful because it's supported by another source, like your cross reference. Mm -hmm. Now, after that, you say it's not useful because it's, cause it's opposed by another source. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm waiting for another student to come in so that he will not miss what you said just now. Excellent. <clears throat> Thanks. Uh, now, Fao. Now, Fao. Sorry for the... <laughs> nah. I'll turn on the camera, please. Thank you. I just want to ask uh, Timus and everyone again, when you are doing SPQ for usefulness questions, uh, what is the criteria? What is the standard? What is the format? What is the the L1, L2, L3 you're supposed to do? Back to you, Yishia. Yes, Timias? Timias. Can you repeat what you say again? Uh, it's useful in providing evidence on something. Then mm -hmm. you do an inference. And after that, it's useful because it's Supported is supported by another source. Mm. Then it's not useful because it's supported by a, another source. Thank you. How many times must I tell you all, uh, Gavin? Why are uh, you only write one side of the story? Useful. From now on, for goodness sake, uh, in your exam, whether you're in a set four or in futures, when you do any uh, economics papers or in your A level, your, your diploma, you must always have two sides of the coin. Now, Fa, uh, do you think Uncle Raymond is a gay? So, source A, my wife say I'm a gay. Source B, my elder son say I'm a gay. Source C, Galvin say I'm a gay. Source D, ICA say I'm not a gay. Okay, source E, all right. Newspaper put that Uncle Raymond wearing a ballerina walking around in Orchard Road. And then source F, my IC show me I'm a pure man. So, Timus, use this as my example. Which source is useful? Wong Kang, I don't want to ask you. I don't want to ask Galvin. I need to think of example. Think of Xian Yao. Okay? Right. Now, Fa, which, which source is useful? Your son and your wife. My wife and my son say I'm a gay. You trust them? Yeah. Now, brother. Thank you very much. The rest not useful, lah. Correct, uh? uh -huh. The rest not useful, lah. Uh, okay. Thank. <laughs> I'm going to kill you, man. Okay. How about Timus? Which source is useful? Shouldn't it be like the ICA one, like the government? I uh, you know. Maybe I bribe them, leh. <laughs> okay, okay, sorry. Uh. If you don't get used to my teaching in SSD, this is how I teach. Thanks, uh, Timus. Galvin, which source is more useful? The ICA. Oh, the brother, brother. I, only ICA, huh, brother. Ah, yeah. Last one, uh, Wang Kan, don't disappoint me. Uh. Which source is more useful?
ตกแตกโดนแตกจะตอกตอกตอกตอกวินิดฉันรู้สึกแบบนี้ดิสอพอยต์ To be honest, uh, ladies and gentlemen, all the sources are useful. Agree not? All the sources are useful. Then for the sake, when then why you think the MOE uh, better? Uh, what uh, after eating a lot of roti prata or a lot of uh, uh, siu mai, nothing better th things to do uh, to put the sources for fun and laughter. Tima uh. Timas, is it for making sure? What for is the purpose of putting all the sources and ask you which source? Of course, when they are having an exam, when they are putting all the six sources or five sources, all sources are useful. But what is the purpose of saying that? What is the hidden agenda? What is the purpose of mocking it or sarcastic or positive or negative? What is the purpose of saying this? So now, f o u maybe my el my eldest wife. <laughs> I got so many wives. Okay, <laughs> maybe my my wife want to say I'm gay because she want to divorce me. She want to put the blame on me. Okay, then maybe my eldest son not happy with me because I, let's say I'm a very super rich. Uh, I'm uh my cousin's uh, Elon Musk decided to join him for what? What's your problem? In space of space X, we're going to space Z, lah. Uh, oh, he must. So my elder son not happy with me because uh, I want to give my whole entire property to my younger son. Get it now? Ah, uh, then Galvin uh, not happy because uh, I I mock him in front of everyone to ask him to do a pole dance because he did not do well for his uh SS because he only got A two. So uh, n o f a I want to mock Galvin because Galvin is going to do a pole dance. So she's he's not happy with me. He want to mock me. Okay, then uh, ICA say I'm not a gay. Why? Most of you say you're correct. ICA is not a gay, or even the newspaper also say not a gay. Then the IC prove that not I'm not a gay. So there are three sources against me and three sources support me, right? All right. Actually, I want to hold a face to face. A court case in one of my friend's cafe restaurant in Yochukang. If you can come, that's the best. Hey, t i m u s I forgot where you stay. Ah, uh. sorry. Woodlands. Uh, Woodlands are very near, lah. Uh, yeah, my friend's cafe is Yochukang. Oh, uh, yeah, uh, your school is there. Fair enough. So, ah, uh, you see, ah, uh, uh, ladies and gentlemen, Source D, E, and F. There is no um, what they call. There is no benefits of me saying um. I mean, there's what they call. There's this word called um. There's no uh advantage or benefits for saying that I'm a gay or not. So there is no um what they call hidden agenda, and furthermore, they uh the purpose of saying that because it's based on the fact. So take note, now children. All sources are useful. But which source has a limited like uh, reliability? Okay, for now, uh, don't tell me once uh, this source. Which source? In fact, all the sources are are uh, important. All the sources are reliable in to the certain extent, because for you to identify to check through which source do you think why this source says that to Uncle Raymond? What is the hidden agenda? What is the purpose? Is there any uh, benefit for saying that? Uh? Is there any vested interest for saying that? If there's no vested interest. Hey, hello. Sorry, why should I do that? And you know, for IC and uh, the pink IC as well, the newspaper. Well, the newspaper maybe I I can write people right now for correct uh, to write him to say something about or someone my elder son might write the newspaper to say something bad about me. Example, n e a h But definitely for the IC and the the pink IC, which one do you think now? Which one do you think is more useful for me? I would say the pink IC is more important and more useful than i c a Because the IC itself would detect. Hey, seriously, ah, uh, Nafa and ah, uh, Timus and Galvin. So imagine for four of us, we are police officer. We patrol in a shopping mall. Okay, you know, as a police officer, you know, we do patrol in police ah uh, in shopping mall. Then suddenly, ah, uh, got this girl came from the female toilet. <laughs> They got this, 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 this person inside the toilet, not supposed to be inside. Hey, how do you know? Ah, uh, whether it's a a transverse side LGBT. All right, n o f a Oh, you mean you spot check? Come, put your hand on the on the wall. I'm going to spot check you. Da 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 da. And then you become consider what sexual harassment, uh, correct, not uh, Demas? Right. Of course, you can ask the female police officer. Maybe one can to do the spot check. Ah, uh. what happen if that guy? Ah, baby, yeah, don't k i l 
Can you imagine the transport side? Oh my God, you touched my body. Oh, damn it. Oh, okay, you laugh, right? So how? What's the next thing to do, Demas? So now you're a police officer. Uh, so are you saying, uh, excuse me, sir, or excuse me, ma'am, <laughs> or excuse me, it? <laughs> so how? Oh, shit, man. Hey, in the training, uh, my officer never teach me how to identify whether me or me die like that. Wait, wait, I Google and check. <laughs> excuse me, LGBT. You might laugh, right? No, seriously. I will, how do you do that? For me, I say, excuse me, would you mind kindly show me your identity? True. No? I didn't say he or she. Right? Excuse me, may, may I have uh, your identity card, please? So, of course, that person, uh, now you might say, no, I refuse to give you. But you see, now you need to identify whether you have the right to enter to the female toilet. Now you get it? Right. So, with the IC, what must you do, Timus? You check the IC. Oh, this IC is actually Nafa IC number. <laughs> Just kidding. Uh. <laughs> right. Uh, hello, uh, back to HQ. Uh. This IC number S71. Uh, Just start with 00, zero right? Nafa, your yeah, IC. Then what is that? T, uh, T, correct. T something, right? Uh, T012456. Yeah, this IC is actually belong to Nafa. Ah, there I know. Wait, uh, wait. Don't scare. Don't scare. Nafa, you are not the one. Because you happen to lose your IC, this person took your IC. Get it? Ah. Now you get it? Then later, then sorry, man. This is not your IC number. It was taken by somebody. <laughs> now you get it? The usefulness cross-checking. So now you understand. You see, I, I like to use this as an example. Don't mind. No, 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 have to do that. <laughs> so after that, you check already. Oh, this IC was being stolen or because you lost your IC. You already reported loss. So we, we cross-reference already. Ah, uh, sorry. This IC doesn't belong to you. It belongs to Mr. Nafal. Okay. Oh, oh then uh, you see, the, the person already get, you know, shot already. Uh, mm, uh, then, you know, sorry, um, I need to, uh, in the section of what, what, I need to retain you. Not arrest you, I need to retain you on, under further investigations. So, of course, this person said, oh, I'm sorry, sorry, I, I'm actually, uh, then you took up, the person took up the identity to identify whether he's a transfer site or because he's really one to, you know, a pervert, right? Just like a woman's going to the female toilet. Ah, the first one still subject to, you know, right, famous. But if the second one dressed like a woman and going to a female toilet, then there you, there you are. Good luck to you. Lah. Let's go to uh, Cantonment for coffee. You want Starbucks or coffee bean? I'm drinking my coffee. Welcome, Mimi. Thank you very much, Demas, for talking about usefulness. And how about reliability, uh, Demas? When there's a reliability question, how, how are we going to answer this question? Isn't, isn't it the same format? Well done. I have been saying this for donkey years. Been teaching SS for 10 over years. Uh. Been saying this the same time, every time the same thing, uh, Demas. Reliable, not reliable. Useful, not useful. Surprise, not surprise. Proof, not proof. Okay, reliable, not reliable. And what else? Uh, shock and not shock. Okay. Um, what else do we have? <coughs> All these. Uh, yet the student uh, always say, Uncle Raymond, when I go to exam, I panic. Uh, I thought I got no time to write. To be honest to all of you, listen to this. Uh, please. Your exam is just only a few weeks from now. If you're not going to listen to my advice and only write only one side of the reliable and usefulness, uh, I, I tell you, uh, as a marker myself, I get very, very frustrated if I do not have the two sides of the story. Okay? If you meet, actually, when I'm marking your one count and delving your paper, okay? You only give me one side of the story. Don't go and tell me you've got no time to do it. This is a practice paper. Okay? And I don't like to shortchange my students. I got some students in other schools say, oh, my teacher say, if you've got no time, no need to write the tone and purpose. If you've got no time, write one star, star, one side can be. Sorry, uh, this is bloody bullshit. Uh. Don't tell me this. Uh. As a teacher, you're not supposed to tell your student this. Oh, uh, we've got no time, then that's right one. No, no. You have two solid years or even four solid years to practice uh, SBQ skills. It's just like English. Uh. Don't go and tell me you've got no time. You are as a professional student. You jolly well have to meet the requirements. It's just like a professionals, doctors, lawyers, engineers, police officers, and soldiers. 
your job is to kill, to save, to protect, or to design. You have to do a good job. Don't tell me you got no time. Now. You are professional. You're, these people are paying thousands and thousands of millions of dollars. Same thing, you as a student, you are preparing for your future. Don't let them tell me, oh, sorry, I only know, no, I can't find the reliable, eh, uncle. I can't find the usefulness. Please, eh? you don't want to tell this to the judge when you have this offense or these things. So, please, if you are a professional student, thank you, Thomas. So, now far, you know, eh? okay? You must write two sides of the story. Give you another example, now far. Don't mind, eh? I'm not targeting you. If your son comes to tell you, okay, someone call you, uh, let's say now your father, so somebody call you, the school. Mr. Nafa, your son uh, was caught cheating in class. Wow, that's very serious. Uh. Very serious. Of course, Nafa say, oh, really? Uh? How many, how many times you cheat already? Once. I uh, told him to cheat at least every time. Uh. Huh? Uh, but your son cheating, yeah. Because my whole family also cheat in life. Uh. We cheated them. <laughs> no, right? Okay, Nafa, you find funny, yeah. So the first thing, of course, you will ask your teachers. Okay, seriously, now, how are you going to not say confront the teachers? Do you think what the teacher says is reliable and useful? Yeah. Nonsense. And you are like, like you are uh, scared the people say, uh, teacher, you say you're, you're not teaching anything, you walk out, then you're also scared. Ah, yeah. You know do you think when your, your teachers call you, uh, your son is cheating, cheating uh, you think it's reliable what she say or useful? It's useful. Mm. It's useful because uh, uh, the teacher said uh, the son is cheating. Uh, but it's not exactly reliable. Well done. Agreed on, Timus? Because she might be biased, right? She might hate exactly. the student. Exactly. Hey, hello, you think all teachers are saying, oh, Lord, love you. Uh, hello, excuse me. I'm a disciplined teacher in my school. I ever caught student cheating, seriously caught cheating. I got student come here, Mr. Sean, please don't tell my parents. Uh, I need to pass this exam. I cannot feel. Uh. I said, you cannot feel, but why you cheat? No, uh, because um, they tell me a story. <clears throat> you go going to tell the officer who brings drugs to Singapore. Uh, sorry, uh, no. Okay, Wang Kang, will you trust the teachers? Be like, well, no. <laughs> oh, the coffee is very strong for me. Oh, uh, no, because uh, the teacher might be biased against the student. Me, me, ne? Oh, no. Well done, all of you. No, I'm not sarcastic. Huh? You know my generation now. Huh? So far, don't have. Uh, I never cheat in spelling. Uh. Uh, I did copy. Uh, I did cheat in, in, uh, in the spelling before when I was primary two, primary three. I'm very honest. I swear to God. Uh, I just to please my mother. But after when I cheat, I got full marks. I went home. Uh, I don't... My mom marked the paper, sign. Uh, I, I don't feel satisfaction enough. Uh, because it's cheating, right? Uh, even though my mom didn't think... Uh, the teacher never called. Uh, but I, I went through a few cheatings in my spelling when I was primary two, three. You know, during my generation, uh, if you caught cheating... Uh, whether the teachers are biased or not, now useful or not, like, the parents will straight away will hang out the phone and start whacking the student, the kids. Why wow, you cheat? Ah? Then your all the vulgarity come out, really. You banana, durian, strawberry, kiwi, ah, apple. Um, daddy, I would like orange juice, if you don't mind. All the things that came out last time. You realize that now. Huh? What I want to show you this is very simple. First of all, I want you to know you trust your child. Exactly. Where you look through your provenance, okay. Now this is a background. I told you before, right? The background of your son. You know, you raise your son for many years. You this is your fresh and blood. So this is his background. Okay. And then when the teacher comes in and say, that is the provenance. Why do you think the teacher say you're cheating? First few questions you have to use. So my son cheat. What kind of evidence that you caught him cheating? So you see, uh, very funny. Uh, my nephew was in my school. Uh. So now, now far, very funny. Uh, this teacher, very funny. So the paper was wrong. Uh. So one of the students, eh, how come got no section B, right? Uh? So I'm sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh, section B must do three questions. But then he say, uh, do, no, sorry, out of four questions, section B, 
you only do two questions. But the instruction says section B must do all questions. So she will, you will be clear. So you ask the teacher, you raise out his hand. Um, teacher, the, the, I think the question is wrong. So, but that, that uh, invigilator was a math teacher. So you say, oh, really? How is it? Then my nephew raised out the hand. Uh, so uh, I think he's only answering two questions, not all questions. Straight away, say, you are cheating, no? You are not supposed to raise out and help the hand and tell whether four questions or two questions. It's like, hey, no problem. Makes sense, no? Doesn't make sense, right? It's like, I'm just nicely saying, because you are a math teacher, but this question is history question. So my nephew say, oh, sorry, teacher, it's any two questions. He turned the instant he said and say, sorry, teacher. Okay, I'm going to take you as cheating because you're not supposed to raise your hand and tell me the answer. It's my job to find out from the teachers, okay? I said, huh? He said, huh? My, 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 my sister was, my god says, I trace my god. She was, she was, we are fuming. I'm going to see him. So you know, let me talk to my colleagues. It's in my school, no? So you see, and someone is a HOD or man. <laughs> so you see, that is not bias with you. So check, you see, this, all these things, what you're learning now, is going to imply, apply, supplies, and we apply in real world. Okay? So I just want to warm up you know, because the, the paper I marked from Wang Kang and Delvin a bit not disappointed. You have been with me for so many months and yet you only write one sided story. I'm very worried for your exam. You mean by my heart, okay? You guys are not a C5, B4 student. You guys are A students. But like I said before Wang Kang and Delvin, I'm not interested in your A1, A2. Seriously, I'm damn not interested. But I feel that you have the potential to do better why are you rolling down your standards? That's all, huh? No hard feeling. Okay. Now, uh, let's go through these few questions first. Um, how can we? Okay, I think we go through this uh, question first. <clears throat> the exam paper. Huh? Do I have the answer? Hmm. Okay, give me a minute. Uh. I go and call out the paper first. And uh, where, where is my paper? Give me a minute. Uh. Uh, okay. Meet and your viewers. Exam. I called out the wrong paper just now. Just give me a minute. I'm going to call for my SS exam question. And then I'm going to get this one. I'm going to stop sharing. Then give me a minute. Gonna open up the file. Is that is it there? All right, good. I always tell my students, uh, I think one come may may have been well well done at uh, one come. Now you get used to do this. Uh, okay, now look here. Uh, we go through the papers, uh, huh? don't mind. Huh? But first of all, of course, you have to look through the questions. So this is issue one's uh, context, content, as well as the, the knowledge that you want to learn what is issue one. Okay, But before we look through the questions, can we look at the background? As I told you before, I, I my, my dream is to become a lawyer. And being a lawyer, you need to know your background information of your client. It's very important. You can submit by WhatsApp or email to me. Okay, seriously. You can WhatsApp. You can take a picture. So I prefer handwritten. Oh, you don't know my number. My number is triple nine. Are you surprised? <laughs> Maybe I'm not here. I know I didn't say to you, Artemis. Now, if I type to me and say, hey, Uncle, go and tell you must say you type people like, ah. Do you believe or not to believe? <laughs> Sorry, uh, you're going to use all this. One come and say, hey, Uncle, you're damn bloody childish. Just give a number. Uh. Not so much. Sorry, one come. Hey, now, nah, don't mind. Uh, I just want to make you all feel a bit laughing, a bit ridiculous. Uh. Because uh, I don't want, uh, a happy student will learn better. A happy student will learn Awesome and a happy student will have passion. So just now, uh, Timus, I was teaching history for my set one. Uh. You know what happened? They teach halfway, they don't like. You know what I do? I, I ask them to watch Hatshaw Rich. 
letter to Iwo Jima. <laughs> and what else? We were soldiers. And watch what movie again? Mm. Uh, there's one more movie, uh, Letter of Jima, uh, actually. Yeah, all the war movie. It's so bloody. For well, the head, the legs, the everything bloody. Eh? So, so it's nothing to do with history of Singapore, right? Singapore. Right, Singapore, the Japanese one. Well, then I, I, I show them. Do you want to watch the the massacre of Nanjing? You know, like Nanjing Da Tu Sa. They say, yeah, yeah, I want to watch. I tell you, you watch ah. Huh? I think tonight they're not to sleep. You say why? Can you imagine the Japanese colonel was sitting on the chair with all the heads of the Chinese on the floor with a samurai sword? You know, I say, uh, Uncle Raymond, on second thought, you show us next time after my exam. <laughs> You see, when you want to teach subjects, please teach with realities, with real life. And I'm so, you know what happened? I After I let them watch all the movie, uh, I literally, when I talk halfway, I literally cry. I literally cry. And I was like, then the two, it's a twins. Uh, both of them are twins. It's like, are you okay, Uncle Raymond? I say, because it kind of bring back my memory when my grandfather told me about his experience during World War II and how the Chinese was being slaughtered by the Japanese. And yeah, I was doing the, the boy with the pinky pajamas, the literature book. Uh, it's actually a striped pajamas, uh, okay, uh, one come because I like pink color. I like pink. <laughs> so we were showing the boys, okay, now come. Uh, now come read to the class, please. I think I read this last week. Really? Uh? Did we read this? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So can you choose uh five words from here? Thanks. Five words. Yeah, like, any five the, words. Yeah, any five words. Okay, all of you please type and send it to me. Uh, any five words here. Type my uh, type. Choose any five words. Timas also choose five words for me. <clears throat> We haven't go through the answer, right? No, ah. Uh? Hey, by the way, Wang Kang, did you hand in this homework? Uh? Huh? Heaven, ah? Uh? Okay, please stand outside the class now. <laughs> you know, that's a joke. Uncle Raymond isn't supposed to be his waiting room, not outside the classroom. Oh, yeah, correct. <laughs> All inference. Which five words, please, Timas, Mei Mian, Nafal, Gavin, Wang Kang? I will choose Tragic Civil War as the first one. And I will choose uh, Independence as the second one. I will choose the third one will be Genocides. I will choose the fourth one will be um, uh, Improvement to the Process as well as Recovery. That's uh, my five words. Thank you, Assassinate. Oh, same as mine, huh? Uh, but only brother three words say we uh, I would say traffic a uh, tragic civil war is considered as one. Thank you for war minority paramilitary and recovery. One more uh now for, and two more for you, uh, Demas, as well as uh Galvin's Mayman and one countries. Yeah, it's three words, but I'll make it as one sentence itself it by itself. Okay. You know side, thank you. Up to you, uh, Timus. If you want to put tragic civil war, it's a three separate, it's fine. But I would prefer that tragic civil war has one entity. No harm, uh, Pashu, uh, whether it's right or not. Okay. Tragic pass, thank you. There's one, two, three, four. Tragics, journal science, independence, excuses, and debates. Yes. You're done, Gavin? Thank you, Mimian. Debate strategies, racial represent. Oh, well done. Racial representative independent in the past. Well done. Violence, fine. Fine. There's no right or wrong when you're choosing the background information. It's just like I give the example. When the teachers call you, say, hey, your son is che uh, cheating. The background information comes to you. My son used to be a very honest person. My son, even so scared of cockroaches say, and things like that, he's a nerd boy. Okay, he's not a notorious boy. Okay. And my son also have 
in the past got scholarships and uh, not uh, edusave award and all these things. He's also a senior um, counselor of prefect in the school. We are talking about set one, set uh, set two, uh, uh, set two, set three student, uh, 14, 15 years old, not a primary student. Uh, that means your son is 15. Uh. So Auntie Wang Khan and aunt, Uncle Galvin, Uncle Nampong, and Uncle Timus, and Auntie Min, Min, you are all Auntie Uncle, your son is 15 years old. Set three student. All right. So by this background information, now you know what kind of character is your son, Chuna. Agree? Nafa, right? Agree now, Nafa. Can you hear me? So with that background information, knowing that your son is not a person who cheat in the exam, what must you do? Like what Timus said, right? Timus, you have to cross-reference, right? He say so, right? Okay, teacher, thank you for informing me that my son cheated in the uh, test, not exam, uh, test. Uh, I will further investigate the case to see how true. Do you want me to come down to the school and cross-reference with you and tell me why is he che cheating? So, of course, the teacher will come in and things like that. So, by hearing the background information, by hearing the background information, uh, listen, uh, you this you knowing that these teachers already have some biasness to your children, to your son, or to some of the classmates in this class, or maybe he's just want to do something that is not right. For example, or maybe it's she's true that she really caught your son red handed cheating. So then, of course, you will talk to which is the principal, the discipline teacher, the form teacher that's the one giving the test, as well as your son. And then you talk about what happened. So this is a background information knowing what is happening. So you see, uh, the principal is source A, the teacher, the discipline is source B, the teacher is source C, and you as a father is source D, and the son is source E. So there's five sources. Or maybe there's a weakness, the classmate source F. Now get it, huh? So from this one, a cartoonist illustration about Rwanda published in the Rwanda newspaper 2014 at the 20th years mark of the country genocide. You think this is plus minus? Did I go through this? No, right? Did I go through this? No, right? Okay, Nafa, what do you think? Plus, minus, or neutral? Plus. Plus, huh? Okay, what do you think, Thomas? Plus, positive. Huh? Plus, plus. Like a, a positive, huh? Okay, from now on, uh, when you see a visual graphic like that in your English paper 2, the visual graphic text as well as any of them who are doing history and social study, uh, four corner. Ta -da, ta -da, ta -da, ta -da, ta -da. So corner 1, corner 2, corner 3. On a four. Now tell me, Wang Kang. This is illiteracy, right? Miss No Good, huh? But you see these three person very happy moving forward to what? And then what did they say? Across the bridge, there is no more sorrow. Do you agree all these are sorrow? Pay eye. Very sad thing. Agree now, Wang Kang. So correct, huh? So that means it's positive, right? Famous and Alpha, correct now. Because it's no good one, illiteracy, crime, corruptions, okay? AIDS, cancer, oh my goodness. Okay? So yes, positive. Moving towards to positive. Yes, very good. And then this one, reconciliations to unity. So here, that means, based on the background information, we know Rwanda has been fighting with two tribes and they are killing each other. And this is a true one. If you watch this uh, Hotel Rwanda, in this movie, uh, I tell you, it's Prepare a very, very, uh, very bad. I just watched it. I forgot how the content. But this was um, when uh, this was taught in one of the old social study textbook. When you see all the dead body of the Tutsi, was it Tutsi? I can't remember Tutsi, right? Oh, uh, all right, that's the minority group. <clears throat> so you see, for reconciliations to unity, ah, well, it's positive, right? True, not not so confirm this is also positive. So if I have two, two positive, that means this picture show positive. 
Now, <clears throat> you have to be the architect of the design of the question for this, okay? Now, let's play a game. Huh? Gavin, if you are the teachers, what kind of question will you ask your social studies student? <clears throat> uh, maybe the recons, the unity of the country is, is important than something else, maybe. Huh? What kind of question are you asking? Right, the unity. Hey, hello, hello. Construct proper English question, uh, brother. Alamat. Okay, okay. Uh, Rwanda language. Ugra, Uti, Kapru, Titera, Utu, Krike. Google Translate can't find Rwanda language. Sorry. <laughs> Uncle, you're very racist there. Eh? No, I can speak Rwanda language. I'm not racist. <laughs> Come on. Uh, the unity of the country is the most important uh, to solve the problems of Rwanda. So how many months were you want to give for the student who do this question? Essay? Eh? <laughs> yeah, the, the question five, I think. How many months? Oh, oh for, for question one or question five? No, no, no. Well, I'm asking you, you design these questions. How many marks are you going to give to your student? I'm not asking you SBQ, right? I didn't say SBQ, right? Ah, uh, no. Uh, your brain and read really stuck there, SBQ, SBQ, brainwash already, Napa. Brainwashed by SSMOE already, SBQ, oh my goodness. Typical Singaporean student. <laughs> and somehow you did this question, my dear. Oh my God, I'm going to beat your backside. Okay, never mind. You think first, uh, Wang Kang? One hour later. One day later. Oh. Oh. <laughs> um, do you think it's possible for the people of Rwanda to achieve, uh, achieve to enjoy unity in the country? Thank you. Why you ask me? I'm not Rwanda. Go and ask them. Nah. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Thank you. Hold on. Nah. Hold on. Okay, Timus, if you are the teacher, what kind of question would you want to ask your student based on this uh, picture here? What can you infer from source A? Thank you. Okay, Nafa? Why was this source published? Thank you. Mi Mi Mi? Oh, what is the method of this, this source? Exactly. Wang Kang. Yavin. <laughs> it's a five months question. Why are you <laughs> writing an essay yeah. question? What can you infer from this feature? Okay, why do we what is the purpose of this message? Exactly. Straight to the point, brother. This is straight away source. Eight. Thank you, Timus. Okay, from this picture, I can see a very happy family infer. Huh? Okay, using ice syrup. Huh? Okay, I can infer that. Uh, what is ice syrup right now? Huh? Infer. I said for infer. Uh, let me let me type what you mean by I C up first. Huh? Okay, I start with I I can infer from this picture that this uh, happy family is moving away from uh, disasters, from the uh, devastations, and for uh, destroying their livelihoods across to another place where they find um, beautiful, uh, peaceful, prosperity, and progress place. Ah, C, compare. Uh, it is you, uh, I see uh, the, the R. It is reliable because for my CK, contextual knowledge and uh, general knowledge that I know that during that time, Rwanda people, especially the, I am always confused. Is it to see? Uh, let, let me, let me, I uh, cannot move the things. Is it to see, right? To see is a good minor, minority, right? That knowing that the two C's people are being suffered and being uh, destroyed their livelihood and being tortured and also uh, genocide, then the word genocide, so that I know uh, they are one to have another place that show that they are, they are able to live in peace and harmony. But not sure how reliable it will be if they were to stay together with the, the Hutus. So this source is useful because after 20 years, uh, I tell you, uh, they also don't want to fight. They want to live a good life. Uh, that's useful. So what is the purpose of this source? The purpose of this source is to tell people, hey, 
let bygones be bygones. We're going to move forwards so that the purpose is to tell people the reconciliations. The words is very clearly stated there and the unity. But I would suggest that I will choose another one. I will say that they are doing it in such a way they are going to have a paradigm shift. They are moving their lifestyle to the better one because after 20 years, um, the country might be developed to a state where there are high technology and other things where they need both tribes to develop the countries. That's the purpose of this feature. And the tone itself, T stands for the tone. Huh? And the tone itself is definitely positive. I mean, since both of you say positive, right? I totally agree with you. So I see that. Oh, why did I close it? Then I'm really very poor in using that 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 that, that this just now that the things that I'm so sorry, yeah. Okay, so it's PR. Okay. That's so sorry. So that's I see right, huh? Now come back to B, yeah. We haven't gone through this, huh? Okay, uh Wang Kang, what do you think? Extract the forgiveness project, a website that published interview from people who learn to forgive the past mistakes of the culprits. Positive. Positive, huh? Let's see, yeah. Uh, what you say is positive now. Okay, let's see. Uh Tavis, do you agree? Just read, no, no. Yeah, I agree, I agree. Uh, always uh, remember in your exam, uh, read this one first. Don't read this one first. Make sure this is positive first, okay? Norfa, you agree? Positive also? Okay, let's go. Okay. To help? To help with the reconciliation process in my country, I was working for the government established Kaka. Kaka courts to help bring justice to victims and rehabilitate perpetrators. I do not know the crimes who are. The crimes? Huh? Yes, you know. to, to the crimes against my own family. I did a court official asked me if I would meet the person who killed my father. I did not hesitate thinking I had come to terms with the death of my parents. But when I went to court and heard the killer's explanation of how he murdered my father, I was so overcome with emotional wounds. Within, they had to suspend proceedings for a while. But when I recovered, the killer continued his story. He cried and asked for forgiveness. I forgave him immediately. I wanted him to come to my home so that as a family, we could all forgive him together. There you are. Sorry, one come. I'm not saying you are. Whatever you are reading, all these are bullshit. Not you are. I'm saying you're bullshit. Huh? Number one, huh? hey, somebody killed my family. I forgive you. God bless you. You blind me. I think I do this. Uh. <laughs> Sorry, eh, brother. I won't do that. So let's put it this way uh, now. Fam. You see, uh, honestly, this is a typicality right now. It's a one-sided story, one person. Do you think this is only an interview by a, one uh, from people who learn? This is a few people. It doesn't, it didn't represent the whole entire nation. Hey, hello. You, you study history, you know. Uh, you go and tell any Jews. Or any Chinese who have been massacred by the, the the Japanese and the German, I forgive you Germans because I still buy Mercedes. <laughs> I forgive you Japanese because I buy Toyota. Uh, I still eat sushi. I still drink beer. Yeah, the German beer. Uh, no, no, don't laugh. Uh. You realize I'm using real life. Uh. Those people, including myself, I love Japanese products, seriously, especially the Japanese girl. Uh, shh. Uh, my wife got in there. <laughs> Um, uh, I still love Japanese products and food. Uh, the most important things I love their culture because they, they are not only kamikazes and loyal to the, the emperor, they are very patriotic, seriously. Okay. But that doesn't mean that I will support them. I still know my roots as a Chinese, my ancestor, my grandparents who suffered through the Japanese occupations. Confirm. All right. But I respect their cultures, but definitely not their atrocities killing the Chinese, same as the German who killing the Jews. Okay, if you watch Schindler's list, you know what it means, all these movies. 
But having said that, this part is typicality. Right now, remember, I tell you a few years ago, I will have students argue with me. Uncle Raymond, I totally disagree with this statement. Then I ask him why. Because uh, this is just maybe uh, this person will go and select only a few that is, you know, already, hey, hey, later I'm going to interview you. Huh? You must tell me all these things. You get me now. That means there'll be a bias. That's true now. Let's be honest. I'm so sorry. This is a live recording of Timus and everyone listening. Okay. I may not be a 100% good teachers, But over the years, I've been teaching 30 years. Uh, uh, on and off as teachers and, and tutors. Uh. I got students tell me, I hate my teachers. I don't know how my teacher teach me this subject and subjects. All right. So honestly, they, 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 my principal might also want to get selective sample interview, whether this teacher is good or bad or average or things like that. Correct? Not, not correct. So what happens if the principal chooses a, uh, a group of people that is really support the teacher? Then the sample testing will not be accurate. Really. You agree? Right? So what happens is that this one might be selective group of people to say positive, which is nothing wrong. Okay, they're sure they're people to support it. Let's be, uh, I'm not asking you, uh, 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 I want to ask those Chinese now. Wang Kang. Will you still forgive the Japanese what they did in China and Singapore? You, I, I answer first. Huh? I will never forgive them. You know what? A few years ago, I was talking to my Japanese friend. They don't even know some of them is the Nanjing massacre and others. Their textbook never teach them on this. Talk them on this. And surprisingly, I, he apologized to me. I was thinking, what's the point of apologize to me? Your leader and your emperor never apologize to us. Juna. So I will never forgive them. If you ask me forgive, uh, maybe I will forgive them, but I will never forget what they did. So my question, my answer to all of you is that uh, no. I was still very skeptical and I will be very worried that in future, Japan will still attack China. German has already declared to the world that they did a the wrong thing. Life move on. Wang Kang? Um, I don't think so. Thank you. You better do that. <laughs> How about you, Gavin? No. Thank you. You better do that. You are doing this too. Mimi? No. Well done. How about Timas? Will you forgive no. them? No. no. Huh? Well done. But we still respect them as what they are, but we'll never forgive what they did. Even though it's none of their business, huh? it's their great grandfather and their grandfather's era. But you, I realize it, I've been teaching history for so many years and things like that. I feel that they are still have the blood in them huh, to attack us. You know why? Very simple, ladies and gentlemen. The Japanese has been attacking China now huh, in terms of economy, in terms of technology. You realize that they may not attack in military, but they might attack in terms of like electronics, uh, products, technology. So China is also not stupid, huh? right? Get it now. They was that's why they have this uh, tariff and all these things. Huh? That was that's what you learned. Okay, so I feel that this is positive. Yes, I agree, but uh, to certain extent only lah. I don't think it's really that helpful. Okay, let's go to the next one. C, uh, Gavin. What, so I agree this one is positive. Huh? What about this one here? Hmm, this one. Uh, uh, I think it's negative. Why? Uh, because there's like, uh, there's like, I think more complicated than that. And there's like, like extremely that. helpful, all those negative words. Let's put in there. So from the Vanishing Pot, a journalistic website tracking social political development in African countries. Uh, Timus and uh, Nafal, take note. Uh, in any social study of history, it's always PES. Uh. You know it's PES, uh, Timus? It's... <laughs> it's... <laughs> I want to say that, okay. Right now, PES stands for political... Economical and social.
do more. Uh, one thing I just realized that when I was doing research to do my English paper, uh, where is the, the check? Huh? Okay, P E S M C. Political, economical, social is what we are talking about from the past, from sustainable reference to Qin Shi Wang to Ahsoka to Genghis Khan to Hitler to Stalin's. A political leadership is like we are talking about Hitler and Stalin. Economical, uh, economic is the way we are talking about depressions, inflations, um, in terms of trades, right? You remember, um, trade like sustainable reference came to Singapore. Social, we are talking about the race and religions. Okay, now M really. Anyone can guess what is M? It got to do with air, land, and sea. Come on, come on. Nobody? Write down. Well done. You have it? Military. Ah, uh, this one, ah. Uh, is in your last chapter of your social study textbook. You must want to make a guess what is C stands for. I got student in study this uh, in polytechnic now. Okay, not one, a few of them. No? Cyber security. Write down, please. Cyber security. This is your generation that you're going to face. The military will not attack in air, land, and sea. They will attack in cyber security. I got one of my ex students uh, now, he's now in Singapore Air Force, uh, Armed Force, as an officer. His job is in cyber security. I think recently the National Day Parade, uh, they show a group of officers from the cyber security. It's an in thing now. Because now they are using drones, they're using AI, they are using robots and all these things. So cyber security. Okay. So uh David, can you read to the class? So take note, uh, don't share with your friend PSMC. Political, economical, social, militaries, and cyber securities. These are the five things that every country is now have to face. Agree not, no problem. You have a strong political like Lee Kuan Yew. Okay, you have a strong economy, like Singapore is the one of the top uh, banking hubs. You have the social cohesion, so it's like the, the Malay, Indian, Chinese live together harmony. But then we have built internal and external. Internal, we will have a strong uh, police force, civil defense, and uh, a defense force that is military. And about cyber security, because you know, so recently got a lot of uh, people scam, people um, got, got, got support a lot of money, and then even the 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 cyber security they break through the, the those securities uh, website or security database uh they took up all their information and then they use it for terrorist purpose so yeah these are the things very sad uh, that um uh, why i say the word sad because uh, it also related to Rwanda uh very sad that because of technology people's are uh, you know the education levels are different reason is number one because without this um technology your country will be backward. Agree now. You don't tell me you start writer. You don't tell me you send letter. Right? Now it's all the advance. Uh. Last time, your grandfather time and my your parents and my time uh, is slow and steady win the race. Uh, like the hand of this are famous. Now your generation is fast and furious. Calm and creative. Teamwork and togetherness win the race. So your generation is more stressed than the previous generation. And my advice is whether you're in the JC or poly, yeah, uh, because I'm graduated from the business idea. Yeah, okay, a second upper honors. I'm very proud of myself. I nearly got first class honor. You know why I cannot get it now? Huh? Because of my math subject. Yeah, yeah serious, serious. Because there was a programming got to do with math. And I suck it up. That's the reason. The rest I did very well. Okay. So, because from a business IT point of view, uh, I hope all of you, when you go to JC and Bali, please take up a programming course or even some uh, Python course, you know, coding course. Because, uh, you know, Uncle Raymond's are also working part-time jobs and others on Napa. Right? I realized when I go to some talking to business people, uh, they are now using a lot of IT things. 
seriously. So, so what you have studied uh, is still not enough. You must arm with some, uh, some programming knowledge. I was in the IT firm. Most of the time, not necessary, right? Is it true? All the IT, I mean, all the body of the coding. But that would be good. That means the, the government is preparing you for the really real world. Uh, when I was working in the 90s and early 2000s, uh, all the programmers come from only two countries, from China and India. Seriously. I, I get sick and tired uh, when every time I want to go to Changi Business Park. Hey, you going to Mumbai? Uh? What's your problem? Uh? Oh, no, because Changi Business Park, a lot of Indian from there, uh, they're all programmers. Yeah, without them, you think you can come up with all the programming stuff. You see, a very stereotyping. Uh? Oh, no, but seriously, eh? because Hatim, the father, is working there, right? You know, right? So one time I was talking to Hatim, say, yeah, you know, people laugh at my father was there, and my, my classmate laugh at me. Eh? Uh, sorry, uh, I will say these are the idiots. Seriously. No, no I'm sorry. I'm, I'm very blunt. Uh. This is actually idiot. Without all this, it's, it's not that bad, right? At least they are putting us together with something good. And no, no, no. I'm, I'm saying thing. that I encourage like, them. You know, mm, sorry. Get on. Like, you know, people, right? When they see African people, when they see African people, they'll be like slaves, nigger, all that shit. No, no, no. Yeah. I cannot take it. I cannot take two things. I against bullying, against uh, people calling names. Like now far is a na 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 you know a scold you the vulgarity you cannot uh. I cannot accept people bullying, I cannot accept people calling names because I respect every single names because all these names are related to your ancestor. And the third things I cannot accept against people against people religions or race. I can joke uh, but this type of thing I cannot. As a history person and teachers, I see now uh, people can die for the sake of race and religions. It's very devastating. Whatever peace and prosperity you build uh, just of some bloody idiot mouth, uh, destroy everything. Uh. Seriously, not worth it. I don't want to live in this kind of era. Seriously. So, when these people say, hey, Changi Business Park, all Indian, and this one from Thailand, they say, uh, without all these people come to Singapore, you guys uh, eat grass, uh, go and join the crowd and eat grass. Si tao, eat grass, seriously. All these Singaporeans who say, all these people come, take uh, my job. It's really damn bloody myopic, like a square. A frog in the well. So in any future tells you, hey, you want this Chinese business part, you must be proud. Yeah, I am. Any is there any issue? And you smile, is there an issue? But in your heart, idiot. <laughs> but inside you don't say idiot. Is there an issue that I work in this Chinese business part? When I was, you know why I was there? I was selling my eco-friendly and uh, I went to Chinese business part. It's true enough, there were uh, there are they were a lot of Indians. And by the way, uh, all these Indians are really professional people. Seriously, and when they came to my store and buy things, uh, even though they got a bit of accent, how much is this? What can I do? What is this? And say, Oh, this is this. Oh, then I say, By the way, you're from India. You're from India. Oh, welcome to Singapore. I'm very grateful that you came to Singapore. Oh, really? You know, they say this. Oh, really? It's like they don't believe me that I say it's truly from my heart. Yes, definitely. And by the way, I'm an ex teacher. I have a lot of Indian students. Oh, I see. Now you see cross referencing. They are a bit skeptical. Are you sure no? You just want to please me because I'm biting from you. No. So we see whatever we study in social study, we are bringing up in a true manner, not just being hypocrite and just put a mask. Then there's no point to get A A one for social study. Don't waste my time. What you apply, imply, and supply. Remember that. Let's go, Kevin. Uh, read the passage up. Huh? Yes. Okay. Yes. I think the post Gaza car period is even more important than the years when people were going to Gaza car trials because people because now people go back to their farms and have to make these tough decisions about how they are going to live. The big question is how is that going to affect relationships between people? What's their daily life going to look like? The concern I have is that. Now that Gasaka is over, some may might assume forgiveness and reconciliation a done deal. Tr the truth out in the open. 
we delivered justice. Reconciliation is almost guaranteed. I think it's more complicated than that. Due to the Gasaka trials, the truth that came out was extremely helpful because it related to crimes that had been committed by people in communities. Exactly. I'm telling you, this one here is quite a bullshit stuff. Because just now I purposely asked all of you, sorry, Nafal, you're not involved because this is um, a, a, a Chinese and Japanese issue. Huh? I mean, I'm not sure whether will you still forgive Japanese. If I ask you, will you forgive Japanese? Is, uh, okay, law, correct. Uh, I mean, seriously, right? But if I ask you India and Pakistan, then you say, oh, sure now. You see, you realize all these are related in real life. So you see, uh, Wang Kang, Mian Mian, and Thomas and Galvin. Hey, hello. World War II was 1942. Now it's already more than 80 years. Hello, I was not even born. How the hell I know? Unless you take me back to time machine there, I know, whoa, this is how war is. But in Chinese, don't mind enough how it says, Dao Ting Tu Shuo. It just heard from here, there, and everywhere. Picture speaks a thousand words. Show the movie. You go to the museum. Yeah, you can feel the effect and things like that. You can even hear those uh, war survivors and tell you all how bloody it is, all, all these things. Nevertheless, you must really listen carefully. When you're reading all the sources, you must have to put yourself into the Rwanda situations. You have to. For me, when I read all these passages, I really put myself inside. I feel like, oh my goodness. No, no, no. I'm not going to forgive them. And I will not forget them. To reconcile is really my last thing on my table with them. But I will avoid meeting them. Can you imagine your neighbor is a murderer who killed your relative and families? No way. I'm not God, man. Sorry, man. Even I'm a Catholic. Uh, sorry. Uh, always Jesus come to my dream and say, Raymond, you are seen. You know what I say to Jesus? Nobel. Can I have a strawberry ice cream, please? <laughs> what's wrong, Nobel? I uh, What's wrong, Wanka? I like strawberry ice cream and vanilla. Okay. Anyway, let's come back to this. Uh, it is so important that when they say that these are not reconciled, they're, they're not forgiven. This is the true fact of life. So, Delvin, if you are doing history uh, like the Hitler and the Jews, this is a true fact. The Jews will never, ever forgive what they have done to their ancestors. So, what, what's a big deal, right, in my sense? What's a big deal? Okay, over already. No way, man. If you're going to forgive, uh, that means they're going to history. They always say, don't let history repeat itself. Now, you understand? Once you forgive and forget everything gone with you, ah, oh, man, that's the best time I'm going to attack you. That's how Pearl Harbor was being attacked. Hmm, let's go. Timus, hey, how do I get rid of all these, these, um, this, 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 this highlighter? Oops. That's the only way I can get rid of Okay, sorry. Give us D. Extract from the New York Times website reporting about Rwanda. Do you think it's positive, minus, or neutral? Give neutral. Us? Neutral. Okay, let's see. I read to I the mean, only uh, only from the powerless. Uh, I think it's neutral. well done. Good boy. Good. Carry on. Next one. Read the passage. They awoke early and gathered along a plot of land here in the this Rwandan village made up of a handful of homes. The mission, dig up a drainage ditch alongside a row of homes that had been continuously flooding. Seems like this one were playing out across Rwanda on this Saturday, a monthly day of service known as Umuganda. The premise is simple and extraordinary in its efficient enforcement. Every able-bodied Rwandan citizen between the ages of 18 and 65 must take part in community service for three hours once a month. On this morning in the village, none of the villagers openly question Umanganda or the wider reconciliation process. It is difficult to gauge sentiment about the reconciliation efforts. Thank you very much. The whole entire passage, uh, I only agree the last one. The rest are, to me, again, bullshit. To me, it's propaganda. To me, it's, it's, uh, there's maybe, as a, they, even though they have no vested interest uh, right now, there's nothing to gain anything from this, what they say. The only last sentence to tell me is difficult to gauge the sentiment. Hey, hello, excuse me. You're a New York Times journalist. Eh? Have you feel and, and, and experienced the killing massacre in, in there? Eh? The, 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 the first thing they do is that they go and dig up drainage ditch. Eh? 
Kelvin and Wang Kang. It's like I'm digging the grave for my my people who's got killed. I <laughs> to get it now. It bring back my memory. I'm digging those again. Okay, get me now. Of all the things they got asked them for a deep drainage. Isn't it going to dig the grave for the those people who were killed in the Rwanda's uh, conflict 20 years ago? So, like the same thing, right? Just now I asked you right now, Paul, is that uh, my wife say I'm a gay, right? So that is a provenance, right? But if you further interview her, she said, oh, because she's she has outside as an affair with a woman and uh, she, she abused me. Uh, I can show you the scar that is uh, being abused by Raymond. But this scar can be self-inflicted scar, right? Not about correct now. Right? Unless she sent to police report and judge that is true. That I went to prison because I, I, I mistreated my wife. Agree, Nafa? You see, all this is like a lawyer case. You realize it's very interesting. It's very fun. Okay? So, yes, uh, neutral. Because it's difficult to gauge sentiment about the reconciliation. So, you see, it's very neutral. I feel it's very good. It's well done. Source E. Mimin, what do you think? An adapted extract from a research by a British professor of African study. Plus, minus, or neutral? Uh, wait, I'll, I'll let me read a while first. No, no, you don't read this one. You just only the prominence. You, I don't want you to read this. I don't want uh, you to read this. Neutral. Neutral. Neutral, huh? Okay, now you read. Mm. To, now you read to see whether is it neutral. Mm, we can education camps to organize to teach, to teach the ideas of National unity. The program was later. <laughs> uh, guys, guys, so... pardon her. Huh? Every time she reads, she will laugh and smile. You have to see her real face. You have... Man, it's like that. I don't know why. Maybe you see two handsome boys here. Uh, Gavin, you're not handsome anymore. <laughs> Just kidding. Okay, come in, man. Uh, the program was later required for prisons released from detention, then, then expanded to include those perceived as future leaders, um, university students, and newly elected government officials. The re-education program has three objectives. To dispense education that will help inform the population, to help the population know their rights, and to help the population arrive at social unity. Um, it is insisted that the camps held open discussion in which people were free to free to air their perspectives on Rwandan history. However, some graduates still do not believe in national unity as they see the camps as efforts to exercise control over, over adult Hutu men. Yeah, I think uh, for this one, uh, I'm not sure all of you agree. I feel that this is more neutral. This is more, not so biased right now. No biasness, no favorism, no prejudice, no, um, no stereotyping. Why? Because it's an African studies. That means this professor has been tasked uh, his whole entire life. Uh, he don't do anything, just study the whole, you know how many countries in Africa? Wait a while, guess. Don't tell me 100. Uh. Uh, 42. 42. Uh, wow. I need to go buy Toto already. <laughs> One time, tell me. 56. 56, ah. Uh. You think Singapore independence, ah? Uh, 56. <laughs> it's 50, 56. Okay, okay. No problem. Uh, Dimas? Mimin? Huh? Huh? What? How many countries are there in the African continent? 30. 30, ah. Uh. Mimin, eh? Uh, like five to ten. Five to ten country in Africa? Wow. I think we should bring you to visit Africa. Okay, go with. Uh, don't play cheat. Uh, don't Google it. Uh. <laughs> Google what? <laughs> don't Google no. and ask how many countries are there in African continent? No, no, no. You can Google now. There's like more than a hundred. <laughs> I already tell you not more than 100. You bloody hell. Emotion and damage. Around 20. Around 20. You Google already? Uh? I think so. It's around 28 to 30. The last count. Uh. But because now, uh, you know why? Because they got this northern... Uh, what's, what is this? 
there's this country the breakaway south uh south what uh? oh gosh i i miss um they break away a few countries now broke away we used to be one country now they got south um sudan uh, south sudan uh yes south sudan and yes sudan republic of sudan and south sudan correct correct yes sudan so Africa, there are countries like Nigeria, Cameroon, Morocco. Uh, Morocco is the best, the most richest in Africa because of Casablanca. Very beautiful place. Uh, of course, we got Ethiopia. South Africa is the biggest inside the whole entire continent of Africa. We have uh, Central Africa. We got Niger. Niger, not Nigeria, Niger. We got uh, Somali. Is Somalia is, it, is, it, is that in Africa? Uh, we got this... Um, Madagascar, if I'm not mistaken, it's also in Africa. We got the uh, Republic of Africa, South Africa or uh, East Africa. Uh, a lot, uh, Cameroon, also one of them. Okay, uh, Ethiopia, of course. Okay, so I feel that this is more neutral. F, let's go. Javid, uh, maybe um, who are one, two, three, four, four, two, four, five. Okay, my turn now. Uh. And I straight from an interview of a Rwandan survivor, the interview was posted on the website. Okay, this is confirmed. I'm not sure whether it's a positive or negative. But to me, it might be more to a negative. Huh? Let's read. Huh? I think that having the option to settle outside Rwanda would be one of the greatest gifts that anyone concerned people or country can give to Rwandan's genocide survivor. Right? I told you already. I will never want to go back to a country that their people are not trusting. It can happen again. So now you understand why Mr. Lee Kuan Yew is so important on racial harmony. To every year must have the racial harmony. Even the 15 years after the genocide, many survivors today still live in fear that they will be the next victim. Of those people who killed their families in 1994 and now see them as the only remaining witnesses to their uh, heroic and inhumane crime, in addition to offering protection from the physical dangers that survivors currently live in. So that means they are still a bit skeptical, they are still very naive, not naive, sorry, negative. They still feel that um, they are not being well protected. Uh, they have no sense of security. By giving genocides, you, you must read like that, no? Sometimes you read halfway, you don't just read, read, read everything. You read halfway, digest. Talk to yourself so that you will feel better. Don't just read the whole entire thing then. Shit. Why am I reading? Uh? <laughs> read. I want need to go back and read again. So stop. Pause a while. Digest a bit. Do you understand the first few sentences? Ah. Uh. Talk to yourself, soliloquy. Talk to yourself and, and internalize insight. Uh, you have to do that now uh, when you go to A level and poly and, and university. Uh. In, addition, in addition to offering protection from the physical dangers that the survivor, okay, sorry, by giving genocide survivor the option to resettle outside of Rwanda would also eliminate the psychological wounds that many continue to suffer living next door to the people who killed their families in 1994. So it is true that they still have psychological wounds. They still have psychological nightmare. They still have um, hatreds. They still have some grievances. They still feel that they are not well taken care of. So talk to yourself like that. So it will help you later on when you write. It is difficult to not do not remember and feel the pain that we feel when some former Hutus fighters are around and may walk in the same neighborhood. You may not be surprised. Huh? Some of the Tusi might kill the Hutus and the Hutus might bear grudges since I'm the majority race Therefore, I might be created crimes that maybe after that, when we stay together in the neighborhoods, I got drunk, I got on drugs, or maybe I was so desperate because I feel that the Tutsis are doing better. And then uh, that's how it happens. The worst thing is Belgian give the Tutsi the, the, the freedoms to rule the whole entire Rwanda. So because they, they are the, uh, under the guidance of Belgium. This go to the same uh, uh, in Sri Lanka. When the British give the rights to the, the Tamil, right? The Tamil to rule the Sinhalis. But once the British left Sri Lanka, the Sinhalis took over and forced the Tamil to do this and that. Like, you know, um, if you want to become a doctor, the Tamil will have to score 400 points. The Sinhalis, 200 points can redeem. Huh? Then within three years, the Tamils must learn how to speak Sinhalis in the government sector. If within three years you cannot speak any Sinhalis, you're out of the job. Mm. That's it. Okay. So you see, uh, this, this one confirm uh, is very positive. Uh. I'm not sorry. Um, um, quite neutral and negative. I would say quite neutral and negative. Uh, 
it will not be positive. No way. There's no positive in this passage here. Okay. So let's look at question number one. Why was this source published? Explain your answer. So when you have a why there, there will be a purpose on Timus. Okay. We'll be saying what is a fine mark. Okay, Timus, may I ask you, uh, what did I use the word past tense? What did your teacher tell you when you have an inference question of fine mark? Do you give one inference or two inference? Back to you. One. Oh my God. Serious. Uh? Serious. One. Uh? Yeah. Uh, okay. Nafa, one or two. Two ah, seriously? Your teacher say two. I can't remember. No, no, what did your teacher tell you? If there's a what was this source instead of why? What was this source? There, there's only five marks here, ah, five marks. Okay, most of one kind is your teacher say one, right? I remember one. Eh? Yeah, yeah, Gavin also one, right? Maybe I think also one, right? Okay, ah, guys. I have checked and checked and checked with my ex teacher and myself be doing SS. Please give two inference. Huh? Why two inference? I leave it to you, ah. Now far you like, huh, uncle? Why two? I that's why I leave it to. Let me explain to you. If you give one inference, unless you're so confident that this inference is hundred percent correct, two now. Right. So the second inference to me, uh, to me is a backup for the first inference. In case the first inference wrong, you still got a second backup, at least got two or three marks. Get it? Okay. I leave it to you, uh, Demus. If you want to stay in one inference for a five marks question or inference question, what was this source published? Instead of why, then I leave it to you. I've been telling all my students to do inference. And it's already proven that some of the students, where they return back the paper in the prelim, uh, not in the O level, they show me that, well, Uncle Raymond, lucky I listened to you. I got two inference. Then I asked him why. Because the first inference was wrong. The second inference was correct. At least I got two marks. Then zero. Okay? Then another one was that he got two inference. He got full marks. But the one also got one inference. He got four marks. Okay, ah, uh, so I leave it to you, ah, uh. I leave it to you. Yes, you are right. What your teacher says is one inference, but I a bit casual. Well, so let's look at the first questions now, which is six mark questions. Sure, sure. Yes, but like for my SS exam, uh, usually I in a very big time scramble, so I don't think I've enough time to give two, because even if I give one, I'll already like run out of time. <laughs> very good question, uh, bro. Because I've been invigilating in one of the school for six years and I've so in the school for another, my own school for seven years, right? So I've been seeing two schools. And uh, let me tell you, uh, sir, if you say got no time, it's not 100% your fault, Antinous. Partly your school teachers had to blame and partly you yourself had to blame. Demus, let me share with you. In my previous school, 90% of my students got enough time to write. You know why, Timus? Because my departments, every time will force the student to sit after school, will do a SS questions, be it history or social study. And you know why, Timus, they have to come? Because I'm an ex discipline teacher. So I force them to come. So some of them are not well. I tell them, you want to go discipline or you want to come for my class for SS? Uh, come to your class. <laughs> come to your class. Because when you go to discipline, Timus, you know what they do? I will not be late for school. I will come punctually. I have to write 100 lines. Hey, brother, I'd rather go to Uncle Raymond's class, right? <laughs> so if you ask me, you got no time, uh, sorry. Uh, you lack of practice. You lack of time management. I'm so sorry to say that because it's already proven it can be done, especially when you're talking about uh, insertion, right? The assertion, right, Tima, Wang Kang? The, the, the sources like, do you agree, right? He must, you will say, your teacher will say, only choose two yes and two no, correct? Now, my advice is do everything. Very simple. I'm telling you and telling my ex student before, you, I'm preparing you for the real world, for your A level and even your university, your university, all right? So I leave it to you. 
If you say got no time, it's not true. It's how you plan your time. So I got student very smart, no? right? Okay, are you okay now? Huh? My lesson very boring, right? I know you must stretch. Yeah. Okay, let's stretch. Okay, let's stretch. Okay, done with it. Stretch. I'm going to do new time. Okay. So what happens that you know some students are uh, famous when they do work, they will took out the SS paper. You know what they do? Okay, famous. Which one will you do first? SRQ or SBQ? SRQ. Ah, yeah. Uh, some of my students did SRQ first. You know why? Whoa, this is the question I spotted. Let's boom, let's throw everything. And then once they've done it now, they know how to manage the time in SRQ, they do SBQ. And some, of course, they know SBQ, they know what question they do, right? They, they already organized. Okay, listen now. Uh, are you ready? Good questions. Uh. If it's a six mark question, uh, I don't think this teacher, uh, any teacher will tell you this. Uh, if it's a six mark question, spend six minutes doing it. Ah, got it, uh? bro. No are you there? You, are, you hang up, you freeze. Okay, one more time. Uh. If it's a six mark question, six, spend six minutes. You don't believe, uh, don't believe, uh, you go home now. I go home, you're at home now, stupid. <laughs> what kind of, is it? Uh, you see, uh, this question, yeah, six minutes, six minutes, six minutes, seven minutes, ten minutes, uh, okay? And then you count uh, with this one. No, so sorry, not six minutes. I'm so sorry. Six minutes, you can times two. Seven minutes, you times two is 14. This one, 10 minutes, you can times two, 20 minutes, okay? You don't believe, uh, you add up all these. Uh, okay, if this is an eight marks question, right? If this is a seven marks, seven times two is 14, right? Correct, not, not, huh? Eight times two is 16 minutes. Uh. You add up all these minutes, uh, actually it can give you more than enough time to do this. It's a uh, one hour and 45 minutes, huh? Okay, give us. You go and calculate later after the class. Uh. You go and count, uh, six times two is 12, 12, 12, 12. So this one, uh, six times three is 36. Uh. Is you still got about 100 minutes. Uh. You count already, uh? For everything, for everything is 100 minutes. So technically you have five minutes if you do two minutes. No, no, we count by seven times two, like double of this. Uh. Yeah. So one hour and 45 minutes is how many? It's uh, 105, 105. Still you got five minutes. Uh. You still got five minutes to, to check through your thing, correct, uh, bro? Huh? I did the calculation, uh, Timus. Now you get it, uh, Timus. So it still got time one, so you should change that. But I'm so sorry, now you only got left three weeks plus uh, to do it. Okay? So whoever in your future, like uh, uh, Gavin, like Sing Yuan, uh, we're doing SS, uh, okay? It was just share with you, okay? So Timus, definitely got enough time one. You get it, uh? It's how you arrange. Sorry, uh, I mean, uh, I I'm not being mocking you or anything, uh. Thanks for your sharing because you are not the first student who tell me, Uncle Raymond, teacher, got not enough time. Eh? So I go and do that calculation with you. Hey, hello, brother. No problem. To spend 12 minutes to do this question, can do that. Can I? Can I? Can I? And then the last question, uh, this is the 10 marks, right? Spend 20 minutes, cannot do this. Uh. You know why I say 90% my school can do this uh, and the 10% cannot, you know why? Three reasons, I give out. I don't know, I sleep. Seriously, your student do that. Number two, shit, exam phobia. The butterfly in the stomach, I cannot do. <coughs> I see students that are going in and out for the during exam period. The third one is the worst. Do halfway, uh, sleep. Seriously, got do halfway stick. I see that in my in the other school also. This one is confirmed. They already give out social study already. They give out history already. So I keep on on uh, their bit. I went to the other school in situation, right? So other school got their own teacher. Say, hey, that, that, that student sleeping there. Should I wake him out now? Uh, Raymond, it's okay. He already give out already. Huh? Then how? But his other subject, very good. Wrong, uh. don't ever. Uh. Social study and history and geography, the humanities subjects, is very, very important if you want to go GC and poly. Right? I tell you, uh, because if you can score well in these subjects, uh, okay, compare, imagine all of them got A1, but their social study or their humanities subject got four and five, 
but your social study got A1 and A2 and B3, and the rest of subject okay, uh, the chances is you get into the courses is much higher than those who got all A1, but their combined humanities is below B4. Okay, I'm telling you, it's below B4. They say, how come uh, my subject is so good, but this now uh, the subject is so so, but their combined humanities so good, you can get into the class. Now you understand. Uh, okay, let's go to the next question. Uh, Now, we will able to read to the class list, the portals. Uh, by the way, we are not going to go through L1, L2. Uh, because by now, you all should be doing four and five marks, okay? Nafa? Uh, L3. Oh, this source was published because it, it was the 20th anniversary of the genocide. Genocide, which is an important time to commence the tragic history that took place. This source was published to remind people of the importance to recognize the reconcile. Reconcile and to move towards unity. Right, correct. Huh? So very easy. Huh? If you write like that, you got four to five months there. How can you feel? There's no way you feel. Then you somehow you add a bit more. Let's go. This source was published because it wants to tell the audience, Rwanda people, that they have been making good progress towards becoming a united, becoming united in becoming friendly, coming together. Hence, it wants to encourage them to continue to press on in their efforts to seek unity as it is beneficial for their future. The source shows how three Rwandans are already halfway across the bridge and the lady is saying across the bridge there is no more sorrow to say that they are on their way to better life and thank progress. Thank you, thank you. Please write down these three words now, Timus and uh, Nafa. Okay, these three words are very important. Task, no sorry, therefore, hands and task. Now these are the three magic words that you see the hands are. Uh, this hands is actually linked to the higher L3 we're giving you the six month, five to six month. So you see, uh, now for, by writing like that, uh, like that only, uh, you don't need to spend 12 minutes, what? Right? got not enough time. It says that sometimes you don't know what to write, what kind of qualities I words to put it inside here. What should I write? What should I put it in? So th this just need more, more and perfect practice. So this is a, uh, Answer six months, not very difficult. Hi, Singy. Okay, I will stop here. I don't want to confuse. Uh, I I want to continue the next round for that. Uh, this one. Okay, well done for your one come for your this paper, huh? Okay, bye, Singy. Bye, bye. Okay, okay. Uh, this is the paper. Uh, uh, Timus. This was one of my ex-students in my school who did very well for this paper. You can, you can take a picture if you want to. And the questions is this. Is this one? Anymore? Ah, uh, yeah. Okay. Wang Kang, I mark all your paper ready, right, Wang Kang? Right, Wang Kang. I mark all your three paper ready, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Thanks. Uh, okay. Oh my God. Okay. Oh my God. Where is your paper? Ah. Uh, okay. This is your school paper, right? Is it the terrorism? No, it's the it's the o -level paper. Yeah, the O-level paper. Yeah. That was the year I was also uh, asking them to do all these questions. That was many years ago. Uh, I will go through with this. For the next few lessons, if you are join, continue to join us, join me, I'll be going through your homework as well. That's my mom just passed by. Okay, and uh, these are the 
the things I want to tell you. Please, uh, for Timus and Nava and all of you, please do not use this word, he, 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 all these things here. Okay. Well, thanks to Wang Kang. Very good. You're going to submit the homework. Uh, and sorry for the delay. Uh. Okay. So I'm going to go through this uh, next round with you. Okay. There are three homeworks to share. Uh. Okay. Last but not least, before I go, I'm going to do my makeup before I go for my wedding. I think. Why I need the makeup? Okay. Okay, let's look at this one. Yeah, this one we've done already. Right? This is what the before. No, not this one. Give me a minute. Huh? Thirty-four. Where's this? One? Ah, this is the lesson thirty-six. This is the one I want to share with all of you. Uh. Uh, please do your little homework now, division. Uh. I want you to do like this, okay? For example, uh, okay, just to test me, okay? Kevin, one, uh, Wang Kang, test me out of issue one, two, three. Okay, test me, test me. Like I'm in position, test me. Which one you want me to do? No, seriously, test me. Okay, choose issue number two, question, question. Okay, do you can not hear us? Just issue two, number two, question. That's the best. Because I'm very fetching. Issue three. Huh? Issue three. But first thing, I ask you to use two issue two, fashion. You choose issue three. <laughs> okay, which one? Which one? Globalization. First of all, what is global? So, ready, write down, please write down. So, what is globalization? Globalization is got to do with free trades, allows everyone in the world to trade freely with certain restrictions, maybe. Globalization is something that we talk about import and export with certain technology. Globalization is someone that uh, we have to send for embargo because of war. Okay, so, all right, so uh, then globalization can help certain countries to improve from the first, from the third world to the first world. Example, Singapore. Then globalization also brings the benefits, advantages and disadvantages. Why? Because globalization can create global warming. How? For example, the eco-friendly uh, uh, situations that certain countries that affected like deforestations. Get it now? Oh, Nafa, don't cry, don't cry. Yeah, it's just accessory. Don't cry, yeah. don't cry, don't cry. Okay. <laughs> so I want all of you to choose one of the topic that you are comfortable with. Just to talk like that. Or once you talk, you record it. Uh, guys, record it. Then when you record it, eh, this is how to learn faster. Timus, are you there now, Timus? I can't say, ah, uh, yeah, please don't show your hand. Uh. I want to see your face, ma. Uh, thank you, sir. Okay, Timus, so you mean by what I'm saying, Mama? So choose one topic now, Timus. You, that, that you are comfortable with. I, I want everyone to choose one. Huh? Now, before I go and do my makeup and do my hair, wedding there, I must put nine nice smile. Huh? What's your problem, Gavin? I'm going to put my mascara. Mama, do you have mascara, Lenny? <laughs> okay, let's go. You know like, one thing uh, about Chinese wedding, uh, they say 7 o'clock, uh, and now you can be eating at 8 o'clock. We still trade MMC. What is MMC? Write down, Demus. So what is MMC? Then, what can MMC do to, for Singapore? How MMC works? Yeah, multinational company. Give me an example. Which is a multinational company in Singapore? Is Citibank a multinational company? Is Starbucks a multinational company? Is Yakun a multinational company? Is BreadTalk a, a multinational company? Yes, right. Starbucks, right? Yeah. So why am I learning this? Ask yourself, huh? Thank you. I hope this is your homework and show it to me next lesson. Wang Kang? Um, 
what? Which one do you want to do? Like any issue. No, your issue, long, not my issue. <laughs> Which issue you want to do? <laughs> yes, it. That's how you ask me to do globalization and done already. So, Timus, uh, choose uh, MNC. Okay, you think first, mm -hmm. huh? you think first. Gavin, which one you want to do? Food. <laughs> food, huh? okay. Issue two, food. Huh? So, why food is important to diversity? Nothing wrong, huh? seeing you and look at your brother, he, he likes to eat food, ma. you see, so chubby, so cute. Okay, then what is food? Okay, how the food affect the issue to like diversity? Ming Pai Ma, understand? Huh? Mm -hmm. Okay, Mei Mei, which one will you want to do? Uh, uh, immigration. Wow, that's a good one. So why do you, so immigration, then how it impacts Singapore? Is it so then how? So is immigration important to Singapore? Then is there a pros and cons about too many immigration coming to Singapore? Will it affect Singapore? How can I restrict immigration to Singapore or how can I put a restrictions for certain immigration to Singapore? Is it an S pass, E pass, work permit? Thank you. Nafal, your turn. Silent night. Holy night. Can you just open your mouth and talk? Uh? Okay, type for me. Issue 2 got so many issues. Which one? 1 to 8. You're not talking to me. Uh. Must type. Uh. Okay, social cultural status diversity. Okay, then why do you think social culture status uh, is important, not just in Singapore? Uh? Because your SVQ can come out in other countries. Like you see the Rwanda case. Uh? So why is this social culture very important, not just in Singapore, in any part of the world? What is the implication? Get it, Nafa? So now you are the research, you are the professor, you want to give a speech, give a talk. So you have to collate your information. Tell me now. Why culture is more important than economy? Why culture is more important than, or you, you stay in a condo or landed property or you wear Louis Vuitton or I prefer my Diva Bali, my Hari Raya, my Christmas, my Chinese New Year. Get it? Uh, thanks, ah. Uh. All right. So everyone say something easy, lah. Then you know, right? Okay. Ah, uh, Wang Kang. Oh, security. Oh, issue three security, right? Hmm. Uh, I say in Chinese first, or now, now, but don't mind. Wang Kang, you have no security. It's an security. Well, because you got no, you lack of security. You need a security, ah. Uh. And here, it's not looking for uh, a boyfriend, ah. Uh. Just kidding. Okay. So, why do you think security is important? Is there an internal external security? Yeah, right, correct. Right, now. Okay. right, internet external security. Then which one do you think is more important? Why is security is the paramount important in any country? Because of one T. Demons, which T that really cause havoc or havoc to everyone? Huh? What? You see, uh, security is very important to any country, right? Mm -hmm. Because of this group of people start with T. Family, sir. Thank you, sir. Only terrorists, man. Only terrorists. Huh? You see, huh? the Russian and the Ukraine war is not terrorists. Huh? Correct, huh? They are not terrorists. Huh? What are they? Ready? Other, other countries. They also start with T. Huh? You must, maybe you'll help me to type. First, it's all to do with territorial dispute. Agree? Territory. Agree now? Not far? Like India and Pakistan, territory. Okay? <sighs> what is <this> really? <sighs> Second one, you got to do with trade. The third one got to do with treaty. Write down this treaty. Because of this treaty, it create war. Uh, uh, you see, Russia want to take more territory from Ukraine. Because they want to expand their trade. But because they cannot agree in the treaty, that's why they have war. Get it? Make sense, ah? Uh? Uh, that's why in UK not happy, they create ter terrorists to attack Russia. <laughs> so they prevent tourists from coming to both countries. They use their best technology. Eh? All the TT, da 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 <laughs> All the tea back. And then they, because of this, they prevent the transportation of food and supply to other countries. Another tea. Transformer, robot in disguise. <laughs> the tea effect. 
Okay, one more time. Uh. Galvin, can you share with all the team back to the class before I end the class? I stop now. The T Rex. Yeah, but then first T. Uh, technology. Write down. Second T. The transportation. Third one. The what is it? The mm, yeah. It's not temperature. Uh it's not temperature. Uh tar Tax no. Mm, trade maybe. I thought we did uh. <laughs> You see all these are uh, is got to do with this word now. Uh. We transform. We transform the entire country, right? Agree now, Delvin. Uh, all these key can use in your history for Hitler. Uh. Remember the Treaty of Versailles, right? Agree now. And then the the uh the appeasement, and then the uh the war between uh, uh Cuba Missile Crisis, the North Korean and South Korean War, correct now? Yeah, all these the end of Cold War, uh, all these got to do with the T effect, right? Uh, if you ask me now about which T is the most important, now uh, it's all deal with technology. You realize that whoever has the strongest technology uh, will win the war. Agree now? Let's be honest. Let's be honest. You see, China lost the war during World War II because they have the lousiest technology. That's why Japan developed. So, but now China has their own aircraft carrier, their technologies. That's why they, you see in the past for thousands of years, uh, how the, the people fight using bow and arrow and then the couple parts and all these. Uh, they, they, they kind of uh, keyword is called paradigm shift. Uh. One guy, you know what's paradigm shift? Uh? Forgot already. Okay, from the old school of thoughts to the new school of thought. And when I'm talking to Timothy's cupboard because I can't see his face. Hi, Timothy's. <laughs> I know you're listening and I'm just putting your leg, okay? So, Timothy's, get it all the T effect. Okay? So, this will be very helpful to all of you if you are going for A level and JC, uh, eh, JC or poly, uh, okay? Where you will do like business and economies and all these are important to all of you. Uh, whether I will see you in next Sundays is all dependent.